hello. Can everyone hear me? Um, if you can hear me, uh, just type something in the chat. All right. Um, I'm assuming that it's about time. So we are going to begin our lesson now. Hello, everyone. We today is the third lesson of Rainbow Chinese is well puzzle game. Today is the third episode. So, and today is May fifth, May seventeenth, twenty twenty. All right. So first, we're going to begin by looking at some of our examples that we looked at last week. Now, this example is based off of our seven color Rainbow Chinese system. Now, this is the left-right structure. Here, we have a green nu on the left, while having an orange zi on the right. So, when you combine these, you get the character hao. And when we see the green and orange colors, we know that this is a left-right structure. All right, here is our next example. Now. This example is a left, middle, right structure. This has a green mu on the left, a red yo in the middle, and an orange cun on the right. As you can see, when we combine these three characters, we get the character shu, and we see the orange, red, and green colors, meaning this is a left, middle, right structure. Now we can look at our next example. This example is our common top bottom structure. We have we have this blue piece on the top, and this purple piece on the bottom. Now, when these two characters are combined, we get the character. Well, these two pieces combined, we get the character B. And now here, because we use the blue and purple colors only. This actually is a top-bottom structure. Now we can look at this next example. This is this is a top-middle-bottom structure. Now this top-middle-bottom structure has three parts. We have this blue piece on the top. This Red piece in the middle, and this purple piece on the bottom. Now look, this looks like it's kind of like stacked on top of each other, or like a sandwich with like the blue on top and the purple on the bottom, and then you're sandwiching that red piece. Now you see blue, red, and purple, and this creates the character I, which because it uses blue, red, and purple, creates a top, middle, bottom structure. And if you guys feel like I'm going a little too fast, you can tell me in like the stream chat, and you can tell me to slow down. Now we will be looking at our next type of structure, and similar to the earlier ones, this one only is made up of two different colors. First, we have this yellow coat. And then we have this red shu, and well, if you if you think about it, this kind of looks like a meat skewer. You have this red piece, which is the skewer, and this yellow is that piece of meat. When you combine these different parts, you get the character zhong, and zhong is a well, it's like a skewer structure. All right. This is our well final type of structure colors. So this one has two different colors. You have this little red cross in the middle with a gray outside enclosure area. And yes, inside of this gray piece, which surrounds this red piece. Here, when these pieces are combined, you get. The character Tian, which is a outside-inside structure. All right. Now, this sum to summarize, these six different puzzle well, not really puzzles, but structures represent our Rainbow Chinese color key. 
the seven color system. You have green on the left, orange on the right, blue on the top, purple on the bottom, red and yellow on the inside, and gray representing the outside. All right, now we can begin our lesson. All right, this as we done last week. We are going to be looking at these characters and you will be putting these pieces together to create a character. For each different puzzle, I will be giving you some time. All right, now we can look at our next puzzle. All right, now we will be looking at our next puzzle which in this case has three different parts. A green R, a red, a orange Yo, and this purple piece. All right, we'll be looking at our next question, next puzzle. And well, these are not as difficult as they really seem actually. You have a green piece on the left, this blue piece on the top, and a gr purple piece on the bottom. Next puzzle. This piece, this puzzle has a green left falling stroke, a red hung jiu go, and an orange ge. All right, this is our next puzzle. This is actually a top, middle, bottom structure. All right, now we can move on. This actually has a lot of pieces to it, but this is actually not as difficult as it seems. As long as you use our seven color system to put these pieces together is quite a simple task. This one might take you guys a little longer. This is our next puzzle. And like the one earlier, it is not as difficult as it really seems. This is actually a combination of another character that we learned that we will be learning this lesson and a different and this Zhuzito. Alright. I think that is all of the puzzles. Now we'll be looking at this each individual character. All right, we will be looking at this first character. I'm saying I'll, I'll write a lot, but that's okay. So this character is R, and R has, well, five different colored parts to it. And R means ear. You have this blue horizontal stroke, a green vertical stroke, an orange vertical stroke, a red, like these two little horizontal strokes, and a purple horizontal stroke. All right, now what it is seems a little difficult with all these pieces, but you see blue on the top, green on the left, orange on the right, purple on the bottom, and then with these two pieces in the middle. The word R Do means ear. This is the character Chu, and Chu means take. It is made of a green R and a orange 
Yo. And this is a very simple left right structure. Chu means take. Chu de means obtain. And chu xiao means cancel. This character is Ju, and it has that wacky purple piece in it. We have this green R, which means ear, and this orange Yo, which means again. As you can see, it's actually the character from earlier, Chu, which means take. But we have just this purple wacky piece on the bottom. And you could think of this as a top bottom structure, as we have the Chu on the top and the purple piece on the bottom. Ju means gather. Zhi hui means get together. And zhi chan means party. This is our next character. This character is sha, which means sand. And this one does seem a little weird. We have a green san dian shui on the left, a blue xiao on top, and a purple left falling stroke on the bottom. And well, it looks a little weird, but if you break it down into these colors, it does seem simple because we have this blue sanyin shui, the green sanyin shui on the left, and this blue piece on the top with this purple piece on the bottom. And it could be considered a left right structure as the blue and the purple is the character shao. Sha tan means beach, and sha fa means sofa. This is our next character. It is cheng, which means success. It has a green left falling stroke, a left and a red heng zhe go, and an orange ge. And well, you have the green on the left and the orange on the right. And this piece is red because it is actually a little bit surrounded by the green and the orange pieces, and it is in the middle. Cheng means success. Cheng gong means success. Cheng zhang means to grow up. This is our next character. It is the character He, and this is fairly simple. We have a blue rung on the top a red horizontal stroke in the middle, and a purple ko on the bottom. And this is a top, middle, bottom structure and means to combine. He ji means sum, and he zuo means cooperation. And this is a combination of many different other, with two characters and one part. We have a purple tu on the left, a blue cao zi to on the top, and these three ren, yi, and ko create the character he. And well, you could think of this actually as a left-right structure, or something on the left and then a top bottom, as this is on the top while the he is on the bottom with this tu on the left. Ta means tower. Gao ta means tall tower. This is the character da, and it means to answer. You have this zhu zi to on the top, a yellow ren, which means person, a red yi, or a horizontal stroke, and a purple ko. And these three pieces make the character he. So when you combine that, you get da, which means to answer. Da an means answer. Da fu means reply. Alright, we are done looking at our characters that we learned in this episode. Now here is a little and here is a little graphic that shows that well the basic characters that we learned. You see we have the R Yo Shao Cheng Tu He These are all the basic characters that make up the more complex characters. When you combine these characters, you can get bigger characters such as R He Yo. And when you combine that, you get the character Chu. And this can be done so with the other characters too. Now is the quiz part. What four characters 
when you combine them in a small phrase, can you get a Chinese 成语 This is actually a little difficult. Well, it's actually pretty difficult, and you guys may not know this, but you can ask your parents because even they might not know this. They probably wouldn't know. So, I'll give you some time. All right, you've had your time. We are now going to be looking at these answers. These are the answers. You use this character, this character, this character, and this character. All right, now we're looking at the 成语 The 成语 is 聚沙成塔 which gather sand become tower. So you could say grains of sand piled up make a pagoda. A more deeper meaning would be, many small things can become something great, and that is in fact true. True. So, if we use this 成语 in a in a sentence, we have, 聚沙成塔。这些年，我慢慢存了一千块钱。And the sentence means, many small things can become something great. These years, I slowly saved a thousand dollars. And this really uses this changyu in a good way, as it really shows that over a long time, you can be, you can have something amazing. And well, this is the end of today's lesson. I hope you had a good time, and well, I will see you next week. Goodbye, everyone.